About two years ago, we had a role play series that was what kicked off all the role play we've done in the past two years. And so what we're doing, since it's almost like a two year anniversary, is we found an amazing map, which is Lincoln Creek. It's based out of Thayer, I always pronounce it wrong, Thayer, Nebraska. And to top it off, I've been doing a farming series with my real life equipment. So what I'm gonna try to do is match some of my real life equipment to my farm that we're gonna build in this roleplay series. It is pretty busy in town here. I think the town population's like two, 300, something like that. Pull into Casey's. Get some fuel. Well, I am an idiot. Fuel's on the wrong side. Well, that was a little embarrassing. You think owning a truck for 15 years, you would realize what side the fuel cap is on. But hey, <laughs> hey uh, man. what's We've your name? We've all done it. I'm Jake. What's yours? Jake, nice to meet you. Uh, Grant. <laughs> Grant, Grant not, good to meet you. Nice to meet you is not my name. My name's Grant. But uh, <laughs> it looks like you're from uh, Iowa there. Yes, sir. Yep. I actually am in the process of moving out here. I've been in the process of it for about a month and a half, but okay. finally fully getting out here now. Madison County, that's south of Des Moines, right? Ain't it? Yes, sir. Okay. Yep. I know a couple guys from there. So are you new to town? Yeah, fairly new. I mean, I've been, like I said, coming out here for over a month now, getting my business set up and things like that. But yeah. Hey, what bi business do you own here? Uh, The Farmers Cooperative here in town, opening up. Uh, it's Allied Farmers Cooperative. Allied? Okay, I'll have to look you up. You guys on the internet? Yeah, yep. Yeah, you can find us online on the okay. website. Huh. Well, I'm uh, new to town starting a farm here, actually. And, uh, well, you're probably the only co-op in town, so I guess we'll do, be doing business together, I bet. I'm sure we'll be doing plenty of business. Uh, what brought you out here to these parts? I farmed uh, around the Des Moines area, actually. That's why I saw that Madison license plate over there. And right. uh, Urban Sprawl crept up, and I got an insane offer for all the farms. And so they're going to build houses there. And I was like, okay, well, we got $5 million. Let's go buy some farms somewhere else. Hey, there you go. Yeah. You moved out here to the great state of Nebraska, huh? Yeah. Although their corn's a little smaller than Iowa, it should hopefully yield something. Yeah, I think it'll all be, be all right. It's uh, still decent land out here. Not not as good as some parts there in Iowa, but still pretty good. Oh, you're spilling fuel a bit over there. Oh, oh boy. Good catch. There you go. Back in the day, we used to smoke around those things. Yeah, and now they got stickers all over them saying <laughs> don't do that. I guess some times change, huh? Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, Jake, it was nice to meet you. I better get going get fueling up here. Yeah, you too, man. If you ever need anything, here's my card. Just give me a call. Okay. Sounds good. We'll see you. Right, have a good one, Grant. Hey, that coming sounds pretty good. Appreciate it. Probably sounds better than the Ford. Oh, the 6 -0. She's hard to beat. She may not be reliable, but she sounds pretty dang good. Yeah, hard to beat, also hard to fix. Have a good one. <laughs> we'll see ya. Okay, we're fueled up. And so we have $5 million to start and buy ground. Now, I'm gonna go... Well, I gotta find a spot to jump on the laptop and show you guys all the land for sale around here. I'm just gonna park in this tiny parking spot right here. <laughs> Okay, let me pull this up here on the laptop. So, here's all the ground for sale right now. Here's town. Um, here's the gas station we're at. So, I always pronounce it wrong. It's like Shorty or Shorty Maps, essentially. And you can click on the ground, and it'll pull up, like, the soil quality, actually. And it'll pull up, like, kind of a chart of the soil quality. So we can see our expected yield potential, too, here. So on some of these farms, they're getting discounted a little bit because of their yield. So the price is down. But there's some good farms around here. Uh, farm like this, farm six. Here at this farm, it's about 30 acres. So it's it's categorized in hectare acre, which one hectare acre is about 2.5 acres. So that's roughly about 30 acres. You can you can tell here's a, uh, this should be a 40. So my first thing is I wanna buy, find a farmstead for sale and then maybe put a building up on that farmstead. So. There's a couple for sale that I know of that we're going to go check out. I do want to stay close to town. Gosh darn it. For a town of like 200, traffic is busy. But I do want to stay real close to town with the farm. I'd like to get something close to town, have my fields close to town. That way we can haul in grain pretty easily and not be too far away. There's a couple different actual farmsteads for sale over here, including one of these. Looks like they got some Stein seed over there. 
So that farm right there is actually for sale, which wouldn't be a bad farm. It's got the bin site, everything. I don't want to drive in there because I think somebody's still living there. Some decalp seed was planted there. Here's another farm also for sale. This is more of a cattle, and I don't think anybody's living here, so we'll pull in here. But this is more of a cattle lot, I think. It's got grain bins, obviously. It doesn't have a pit or lake or anything like that. But we do have a cattle lot here, which wouldn't be bad. Another farm for sale. This one actually has a pretty nice grain setup over here. Looks like it has a leg, has a pit, already has a shed, has some... I think that's cold storage. So that must be the co-op that Jake owns over there. Now here's the farm I saw on the internet that I thought would be perfect. We've got great location to town. Town is right there. Have a bin site with 200,000 bushels of storage, which should be perfect. Has a dryer, perfect setup. It does have an older house that is pretty much the foundation is rotted down late 1800s. And I think what we do is tear down the house. It looks good. It looks good. But it is just a mess inside. Like it, it needs to go. We have fuel storage. The only thing is we don't have much of, of a shed. There is also another farm like right across from it. Does have a nice storage system. Nice dryer. Has a pool. Okay. Has a real nice shed too. I think cement floors in it. I don't know if it has heat. It, it isn't insulated, so it doesn't have heat, probably. But that wouldn't be a bad shed. Well, I'm going to head to town and uh, go to the realtor's office, and uh, I think I'm going to put an offer on this farm here. I think that's Jake's co-op there. He's got the place cleaned up pretty nice. Okay, let's do this. We got her bought. So what I did is I made them an offer and I made them an offer for the back 80 too. It's not a full 80, but uh, now plans with this house. I'm going to tear down this house, build a new house, and then maybe another machine shed. We'll see. One machine shed for now and maybe some other customization things. Well, here she is. There may be some improvements later on. I may add a building if we get a new mod here. Maybe I'll add that. I don't know. But, uh, okay. We'll give you guys a rundown. So, we demolished the old house. We got a new house in here. It's pretty nice. It's not like a mansion or anything. Obviously, the inside is pretty darn nice in here. She's pretty nice. Got one bedroom upstairs. Got a huge basement down there for the kids and everything like that. Got the truck out front. Got a nice little party patio. Check this out. Check this out. Oh, yeah. We'll turn the radio off. Jake, is that you, the gas man? Yeah, Grant. We met at the gas station earlier. Yeah, I didn't know you sold gas, too. Yeah, we offer energy solutions at the co-op. I uh, happen to be delivering place just south of you here, and I uh, figured I'd stop in and see if you needed any. Well, let's check the tank. Heck, it's pretty much empty. How much, yep. uh, let's see, gas station diesel was, I think, three bucks, something like that? What do you guys charge? We're at 251 right now. 251, okay. Yeah. Well, shoot, fill her up then. All right, fill her up at 251. This thing takes, uh... Was it 24,600 and, or, or I'm sorry, 2,600 and, 
We'll figure it out. Yeah. We'll see what she rings up at here. Okay. Uh, do you need to back up or? Uh, I think if I just pull on forward here, I should be able to get close enough and then attach my hose and we'll get it filled up here. So. Okay. Let's do it. She's filling. Yep, we got her filling up. Uh, we'll, it's got an automatic cutoff once the tank gets full, and then I'll look and see how much we put into it. And uh, I'll go to my tablet, put it in, and what it'll do is it'll go onto your, your co-op account. So you don't have to pay us here today. We have a lot of different options. You can pay per invoice, like per item. You can pay monthly, or you can pay by the year. All right, so... Perfect. Uh, what, just, what's the website? Yeah, if you just go to the Allied uh, Farmer Cooperative, farming Allied Farmers Cooperative, uh, you'll be able to uh, view your account there. Click into account records and okay. then uh, type in your password. Okay, I got it here pulled up on the phone. Yep, so if you just go to... I've already sent it in since we've done filling now, so if you go into account records... Account records. Yep. And then you're going to click on uh, your account name. Gotcha. Uh, you're going to type in your password. Hey, there it is. Okay, uh, 2,600 units for six grand. Yep, so 2,641 gallons is what we pumped in at 251 per gallon, so that's 6,628. Okay. Jeez, we better have a good yield this year or something. Yeah, well, that that's a lot of fuel there, so it should last you quite a while. All right, well, uh, if you need anything else, just let me know, but I'm going to get back to doing my runs. Okay, sounds good. Appreciate it, uh, gas man. Appreciate it. You have a good one, Grant. Yep. We'll see it. Hey, there we go. That works perfect. You can swing around there. I wasn't sure if we had enough room here for trucks to swing around. It looks like it's good. He's getting out of there fine. Well, we're all hooked. Actually, let me ask him something real quick. Jake! Oh, yeah? Hey, is there a uh, equipment dealership in town? Well, yeah, there's a case right there in town, but I've actually heard rumor that we're going to be getting a, a deer dealer out here as well really okay yeah so if you're partial to the green paint you might want to wait i think it's going to be a week or two before they get out here probably Jeez, i had uh yeah i had a deer dealer back in iowa and uh that guy that general manager he was a crazy son of a gun man he was a crazy son of a gun <laughs> but uh at least we're getting away from him now so yeah yeah sometimes you got those certain people you just gotta gotta get away from right yeah yeah but anyways excited for the new dealer to come into town yeah me too i think we're gonna partner with them at the co-op and uh Ooh. lease all of our equipment that way all of our stuff will be brand new right from uh the dealership we won't have to fix it it'll be great awesome awesome well, that shoot. is unless unless case gives me a better contract there you, you go. Know, we'll, we'll see what happens. What about but. some blue equipment? Well, if there's a blue dealer I can find around here, I suppose so. Might have to drive a couple towns over to find that. Well, dang, shoot. I'll let you get back to it. All right, man. Like I said, anything else, just let me know. Okay. We'll see ya. See ya. But anyways, back to the tour. So we got the house here, uh, which I think is perfect. We got a nice garage for the pickup truck in here. Got the Cummins logo in here. I do need some more Ford logos in here. What I'm most excited about is the new shed. 60 by 120 and if you guys don't know little side note this is ah, it's pretty much the exact shed in my in real life that is literally just built i put made a post on instagram the video isn't out yet i'm gonna actually be going kind of filming a little more today after i get done with this so like this is exact shed exact colors some of the window placements are a tad off but it's perfect it's perfect got a 30 foot door here got a 24 foot sliding door here 16 foot sidewalls Got a little patio out front. It's all cold storage, so it's not a shop. I have the Pioneer sign just because big Pioneer fan. 60 by 120, so we can store all of our equipment. Get out of there, bird. What you doing in here? But anyways, we can store all of our equipment in here. Perfect. And I love the colors on it. And then we got the little shop. This shop basically was here for, uh, you could say it was on the farm for the past uh, 40 years. It was built in the 70s, but it's just our tiny little shop. It's a 30 by 40 and uh should work good over time as we expand the farm maybe i'll build a bigger shop or something like that but for now i love it and then we got our 200,000 bushel storage with a dryer now an idea i've been toying around with a close friend you could say lives here or maybe we'll live here in the future and so we got a little backyard path over to our friend's place but an idea i've been toying about toying around with in the future is maybe maybe buying this like for a hired hand to live here but we'll see. I have a friend that might be interested in buying it too. She looks beautiful from the road though. I love it. 
And I do want to run to the laptop quick. And let's log on here. I do want to buy some more land. So right now we have 3.5, 3.1 million dollars. And you can never buy enough ground. I'm actually considering, I want to check around to some. Some of these have some pretty good, darn good soils on these. But I'm actually considering buying field 36 right here. Uh, it has a loam, a little silty loam and sandy loam, which is, which is good. But man, maybe field 8. It's expensive, but it's all loam, perfect soil. I'm going to shoot an offer to the realtor on field 8 over here and see if we can't get that farm bought. But anyways, guys, seriously, thanks for watching the first roleplay video. Uh, we're hoping this is going to be exciting, and we got a lot of cool things coming. Obviously, we got a deer dealer and a bunch of other stuff, but also, shout out to MRG uh, for making this map, because I think this is a really solid map. I really like the soil, the soil classes and stuff, which I know that was made by Farming Simulator, um, but this is really a, a really nice map. So seriously, guys, thanks for watching, and hey, I'll see you in episode number two.